Welcome back to the Rowallan Castle Open, the final round action. Just 36 holes because of a rain delay on the second particular day. And in fact, it was a complete washout, John, wasn't it? Oh, it was. It was raining cats and dogs from start to finish. It really was. The course is held up so well. That's a great shot from there. Good idea of what happens in these particular greens, these undulating surfaces that Colin Montgomery and Ross McMurray have designed. I mean, that looked like it was going to finish five foot. It's finished 20 foot instead. Mark Lasky. Another shot right at the flag. Represented Wales from 1998 to 2007. Wow, that's a serious stint. His commitment there. He's obviously held back from going professional for a long, long time. Good shot from Tim Rice. That's the best shot we've seen on that hole for so far today. Right, the smiler. This man seems to be always smiling. Come rain or shine. Through, extended through that ball. Very important to do that to keep the club face square through impact. Slow putt up the hill. He's giving it a rip. Still short. Good read. I've seen this putt. Quite slow, and it moved from left to right. He makes his par. Right, Mr. Far. What have you got for us? Yes. A little fist pump. A little fist pump. Never hurt anyone. Get you fired up. Well, this man doesn't need firing up. He's cooling down. <laughs> Four shots in the lead. He's a flannel. Well, that's not what I was expecting. Never up, never in. Good two putt in the end. Paul seems very, very in control of his emotions. Tell you what, that's what you need. So he will make his part. Lasky also made his part. Now, John's been out and about in the rain, sadly. Wonder where he is. Well, this is the eighth hole. Absolute little beauty, par three. 145, 150 yards, water in front, water down the left, beautiful old trees, raining, can't beat it, perfect Scottish weather. You've got an amazing little castle hidden in here in the trees. I've got in the region of a little nine iron, just need to find this dance floor. It's a little tiny green. You've got to be so precise there. A little bunker at the front, and it runs away at the back of the green as well. But I can't resist this. I've got to play one. Here we go. I mean, this is what it's all about. It's dripping off my nose. Come on. Oh, he's played a little beauty. Nice little easy swing. Come on. Yes, middle of the dance floor. Get in there. Under pressure. Push it down on me. Push it down on me. He is available for parties and bar mitzvahs. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see if Oliver Farr can be as good as our own John. Almost. He's better, but my conditions were a little bit worse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely sky, that. You can see the clouds really scudding by. Shows you the strength of the wind. And there's not many holes we see the ball backing up. These no. greens really are in good condition considering the battering they've taken. God. I mean, it was only yesterday when uh, it was absolutely 
turmoil out there. And now, look at the recovery. Fantastic. Now, here's a shot you see played quite often these days. Yeah. I mean, a new shot has been developed over the last couple of years, and this is what's become quite a common little trick. It just seems to skip through that first couple of feet and then gets rolling nicely on the putting green. It's just like the old Bronte chip master. The Bronte. <laughs> Good uh, tee shot on seven from Lasky. You're showing your age now, Ross. Left to right at the end. Oh, and just like Saltman's, it just didn't turn enough. He would make his four, though. Tim, what have you got in store for us? Come on, nice swing. Yeah, good position off the tee. It's just, okay. what, uh, 349 yards, and it's, what, four iron off the tee? Yeah, it is. I mean, he was right there with his playing partner. They've both done the same. No more than a foot from one another there off the tee. Giving himself a nice shot into the back green. Expecting a bit of spin there. Wind was into him. Oh, it might come back towards the flag. Huge extension through the ball. Doherty. Yeah, like you said, Ross, you know, that is what you need to get proper control of the ball in any kind of conditions. Seem to get that a little bit late. And what usually happens is it comes up short and right. Yeah. Well then, Mr. Eddington. You got your putter out, not your driver. Can you putt better with this one? Oof. What is it with these really long grips now, Ross? Very, very long grips they have on their putters. Oh, what it is, is because they have a, a, a butt weight so that uh, it balances out the putter head and, and the grip. Because ah. Justin Rowe's got one now, hasn't he? Yeah. It's become very popular. Well, neither Lasky nor Rice taking advantage of the perfect tee shots. When I was on this hole with my bold head, it's not very nice with that rain flying on it. He's got some nice, you know, some nice cushion there on top of his head. The lucky boy. You're just too tall for your hair. That's all it is. <laughs> cool. Got into that one. Full nine iron. That should stop pretty quick. That's three terrific shots in there. Yeah, you could sell those for a bobble too. Oh, no. Clear that one out of your brain. Shouldn't really do too much. A little touch of right to left, maybe? Yeah, definitely. Here we go. Oh, way too firm. Way too firm and misread as well. Lasky, white stance, ripping it up the slope, still not enough. The pin position has caught out a lot of people. Oh. Just didn't seem to strike that properly, it just bobbled off his putter face. Just seen him come up out of it actually there, Ross. I mean he was looking at the hole before you know he struck the putt. Old school David Duval technique. It worked for him very well. It's so important to keep your your body still, your lower half still. Oh dear. Oh, that's a bad three putt. Oh. 
Don't hold on to that too long. Wipe it, wipe the slate clean. That's it. Look up at the heavens and think, why me? Poor first putt. Really got it all wrong. And not enough pace on the second one, so that's going to be a bogey for Dirty. You want to pull your hair out when you do little mistakes like that. Is that why you've got no hair, John? Exactly. <laughs> Bit of tidying up for the man in second. Looks like Tim could give you some of his hair. Far. Long range birdie attempt. Oh, great strike. Great whisk through that ball. Got the spin. Run out nicely. Surprised me. Really coming in with like a nine iron. Is there a much elevation difference between the, the tee and the green? No more than, say, 10 yards. You know, not a great deal. It's just so attractive on the eye. You, know, you get over those some of those shots, you just think, oh, this deserves a great one. <laughs> Rodri McGee started from the ninth because they had a 2T start of the... So he's not got many holes to play. There's three holes left for him. And he's shooting up the leaderboard. He is. This is a nice breaker. Up the hill, down the hill, left to right. He's ripped it. Birdie attempt. Big jump to begin with. So it came up short. Took the pace off it that first jump. What he could have done with chipping it. He did go on to make his par though. Little short swing, keeping it under the wind. And played it extremely well. Exquisite. Like this. Straight up. Nice and firm with this one. Ooh, he thought he was going to break a little bit more. Oh dear, dear. We're seeing a couple of funny old putts. Pressure just starting to mount now as they get towards the back nine. Yeah, exactly. It's, uh, it's quite common. You wouldn't be human otherwise. That's a nice putt. Well done, Tim. Good stroke there, my friend. And that keeps him in second place. Still four shots behind our leader, Mark Lesky. Sam Forgan's going well three under for the day. Just five shots back. Join us in a couple of minutes for more from Rewaring Castle.